Also breaking, deputies and emergency crews responded to a Spartanburg apartment complex this morning for a stabbing. Our Kelsey O'Donnell spoke with deputies and neighbors this morning and has the latest on the investigation. Well, it happened here at the Southern Pines Apartments where investigators say two people were stabbed. We spoke with neighbors on Thursday morning who were still very shaken up as this investigation continues. Early Thursday morning, residents of the Southern Pines Apartments say they were drawn out of their homes with concern after hearing cries for help. I heard someone, uh, was of course, really close by uh, saying, help, help and later watched as the parking lot filled up with blue lights and crime scene tape. According to the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office, 29-year-old Marcel Alston was arrested for stabbing his mother, 53-year-old Audra Brown, and her boyfriend. The coroner later confirmed Brown died from her injuries, and the other victim is expected to make a full recovery. I stepped outside for a little bit to see what exactly was going on, and then as soon as I stepped outside, I was like, oh no, there's a bunch of blood coming through here. So went back inside, waited for everything to settle down a little bit. Ristel says he quickly picked up the phone around 5 o'clock Thursday morning and called 911. Donovan Harris and his wife also live in the complex. He said his wife was home when the incident unfolded. She said she heard some, someone scream and then she kind of walked a little bit into our hallway and saw someone smack the window. Residents say while a police presence is not uncommon in the neighborhood. Oh, I've seen police cars here before, you know, so that's kind of a thing here there. A reported stabbing is something they have yet to encounter until now, leaving them with questions and concerns. There's uh, some blood on the window uh, leading from our window uh, also down the sidewalk between the uh, four apartments. I'm just trying to figure out what happened. Deputies with the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office say this is still an ongoing investigation. In Spartanburg, Kelsey O'Donnell, 7 News.